Lord Jesus, I firmly believe that you will intervene in every circumstance in my life and grant me a divine resolution. Type Amen if you believe. Father, you fix the earth and I believe you can fix my life. I am more than a conqueror and I refuse to be intimidated by the enemy. I declare breakthroughs in my life. I declare that this moment is my defining moment, marking the end of a sad story. I pray that you break out in my situation and show yourself mighty and strong. I invite the Holy Spirit into every situation. Say come Holy Spirit into my life. I bring my source of money before you Lord, shatter every devourer against my income, open new avenues of aid, and establish a connection that will last forever. Fear may be a strong emotion that can keep us from moving forward and living our best lives. It can make us feel pressured, anxious, and overwhelmed, and it can even result in physical symptoms like a racing heart, trouble breathing, and stomach problems. It's normal to feel fear in some situations, but fear can also lead us to make poor choices and miss out on opportunities. However, it's crucial not to allow fear control us or keep us from living because it may push us to take action and defend ourselves or prepare for future danger in some of these scenarios. The proverb our lives do not succumb to fear. Even though it's normal to feel fear in some circumstances, Fear can also drive us to take action and defend ourselves or prepare for potential danger. It's important not to let fear control us or keep us from living, however, as this will only lead to poor decisions and missing out on opportunities. The phrase our lives do not yield to fear can be found in the Bible, notably in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, which reads, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This scripture serves as a reminder that fear is not a natural emotion. But as a believer you are expected to Allow the Holy Spirit of God to lead you Away from fear In these end times we must take the Advice not to give in to fear because more than anything the enemy is pouring out the spirit of fear because of the mass disaster it can cause people are scared to make great decisions that can move their lives forward because they don't see any good in the future Accommodation prices gas prices Transportation food and everything seem To be increasing daily aside from that We see people avoid marriages because of The sad marriages they see We see people trying to become islands 
because they're scared that friends can betray friends. Everything just seems to be going in the wrong direction. As believers we ought to know that this is the spirit of fear at work. For everything good we try to avoid it. Because we don't know what the outcome will be we deny ourselves from gaining something beneficial. The devil will use the media and everything to keep us in bondage that's why he puts so much negativity everywhere because he knows that what you see and hear will affect you. Now we see the importance of what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 it says guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. The spirit of fear works through what we see and hear so it's important to block these channels so we can avoid giving in to fear. How can we block these channels the Bible says instead of the spirit of fear. God gave us three things. So when we focus on getting these three things we will be able to avoid fear the first of these is power. Luke 10 verse 19 says behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Since fear is one of the sure tools of the enemy it's important to make sure you keep fear out of your life by exercising the power God has given you. You must realize that you have power over fear because fear is an enemy you must not let fear control you instead. You control your fears. The second one is love. 1 John 4 verse 18 says such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid it is for fear of punishment and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. When we walk in the consciousness of the love of God fear will vanish this is because you are aware that you are God's child and you have been placed into his divine plan. You will not fear insecurity and unstable economy or anything bad for you. You know that God loves you and he can keep you from all the negative things that are happening in the world today. And thirdly a sound mind you have a sound mind when you can rest in the knowledge of God for example the Bible says when others are saying there's a 
Casting down we will be saying there's a Lifting up this means that you know for A fact that you are safe from all Mishaps no matter what is happening Little children will always run to their Parents They just know that their parents can Save them from no matter what that kind Of knowledge is what gives you a sound Mind you can relax and fear will not Have access to you because you know Better All these three are very connected and Equally needed and they come into your Life when you practice the following 1. Praying anything from God must come from the place of prayer or in response to our prayers we can ask God to help us overcome our fears he will give us the power to do so notice whenever Jesus met people in need he would most times ask them what they wanted him to do this is because he encourages us to ask him as a child would a father it's also in the midst of prayer that we can ask God to cast out the spirit of fear from our lives just like Jesus casts out unclean spirits we can do the same thing for fear as it is an unclean spirit praying also helps to build our faith which the spirit of fear attacks directly fear makes us think God can't but faith makes us believe God can to study the Word of God studying the Word of God brings us to the perfect revelation of God's love for us when we study God's Word we see how far God can go for us this in turn gives us the sound mind we need to function in the world that we live in because our faith is being built the Bible says we shouldn't be conformed to this world that means we shouldn't think or act like them it means we shouldn't panic even though it looks like all odds are against us but it tells us that renewing our minds should transform us the Bible uses the word renewing because Jesus wants us to do this as often as possible it's recommended that believers should renew their minds every day because we face the realities of life every day so it's important to arm ourselves daily with the Word of God 3 praise in worship we sometimes need to praise God even when we at the time have no reason to know matter how much you think God has failed if you are thoughtful enough you will remember the times when he's come 
through for you in a way that only he could have. Remember you can't see the future but that doesn't mean God can't. His ways aren't ours so he knows what he's doing. When you praise him even when it doesn't feel like you should you are saying to him that you trust him and when we praise God it has a way of fueling our faith because it makes us remember the things he has done. This knowledge can also strengthen you for what you are currently going through, for watching what you see and hear. This is very important as it is the gateway through which fear can come into your life. This includes the news movies music, social media and even sayings from friends and family. The devil will most often use these channels to try to discourage you and make you turn away from God. We must be cautious about this. 5. Obedience When you obey God by taking a step of faith you will conquer fear. Our faith is in levels and it's supposed to be built one of the ways we build. Faith is by obedience to God. Usually when we obey God we get the corresponding blessings which help build our faith and conquer fear. For example if God has healed you from cancer before it will be easier to believe he can heal you from typhoid or another type of cancer and when we have faith in God we obey him because God has commanded us to have faith. Fear is often described as the ultimate weapon because it's said to be the door the enemy uses to open other negative doors in your life. Job who suffered so much in the Bible said his fear had come upon him this means that everything he feared eventually happened to him. This is why we shouldn't fear but constantly have faith in God loves us and he will always see us through to the end. We should remember never to give in to fear. Fear is one of the things that the enemy uses to steal from us. Fear will ruin our relationship with God and the life that God wants us to have. Fear will make us live a life full of regret when we walk consciously in power. In the love of God and sound mind we can combat fear and ultimately live meaningful lives as God has planned. I hope you enjoyed this video thank you and God bless you. Amen.